Hi everybody. Um, there's another common problem that I should address for you guys. If you're playing or practicing and your chin rest is loose and moving around, your chin rest is right here, you're going to want to tighten that down. So there's attachment points right here. And if you look closely, there's little holes in there. Those little holes, you just take like a little tiny pointy tool. Um, a paper clip works good. Um, a nail detail tool, just something really tiny and pointy. And you stick them in those holes and you turn them to the right. And you, there's one on each side, so you're going to have to come around from the back side, stick the tool in, crank it to the right, and you're going to keep doing that, alternating sides until your chin rest is tight again and doesn't move around. And it's kind of tedious. And you may have to try and hold it in place while you do it too like this. If it's super loose. And just keep cranking that to the right. Alternating sides. Until you can't move it anymore. And then you'll be all set again. And ready to play. Because it's really hard to play with a moving chin rest. And this little tool once it's bent can be a little tricky so you have to just keep messing with it and try and feed it if you feed it all the way through the hole so you can see your tool come out the other side of the hole it gives you a little bit more stable of a grip on it when you turn it and just keep turning from left to right left to right and you turn it to the right because right makes tight left makes loose and you just alternate sides until it doesn't move around anymore. So it's almost there. It's moving a little bit, but much better than it was. So maybe one or two more turns on each side here, and we will be all set, and the chin rest will be tight again. And then that's how you fix that problem. There we go. Final turn. Nice and tight again. Look at that. No more wiggle. Another thing to look for right here on where it touch the chin rest touches the body of your violin on both sides there should be a little piece of felt or a little piece of um, cork if there's not that will make it slide around even if it is tight um, you can put a piece of like moleskin um, sticky moleskin or sticky um, I know craft foam those little craft foam sheets that you use for craft projects and stuff. Um, have sticky stuff that you could put a new piece of protective um, padding in there if the corker felt is gone. Um, so that's my helpful tip for today.